Today on Burke Make Stuff, I'm going to teach you all about air layering, fruit tree propagation, part one. Air layering is the means by which you can either get free fruit trees or get fruit trees to sell. This is a beautiful, <coughs> is this thing on? on? <laughs> uh, hello. <laughs> I am here to tell you that fruit trees, <laughs> they are extremely, extremely hard to grow. And you, uh, you should not try at all, unless of course you have the entire knowledge of the Encyclopedia of Gardening from the American Horticultural Society in your head. <laughs> What's wrong with it? It's so easy. No, it, it's extremely difficult. <clears throat> they can't do it themselves. Yes, they, can. they should pay me. <laughs> no one should pay you to lie to them. <sighs> I really hate that guy. So let's prove him wrong. I'm gonna show you right now that not only can you do this easily, but you can do this for almost free with some stuff from around your house. A little bit further in the video, I'm gonna introduce you to a couple of things that can get you closer to 100% success rate, but none of it is needed. You can absolutely do this with stuff that you can grab right now. To get started, let me show you exactly what this is and exactly how it works. But if you already know all of that and you just want the steps to do it, just go to this number here, you're golden. You, your neighbor, your friend, whoever, have a fruit tree, and part of it isn't growing where you want it to. That's all you need to start. We all know that trees have roots, and the job of those roots is to help keep the tree alive by bringing nutrients and water from the soil up into the tree. So in order to turn this part into a tree of its own, we need to get this fruit tree to grow roots here, out of the soil. Once we've done that and the roots grow large enough to support this whole part as its own tree, it's just a matter of cutting it and planting it. And that's exactly the situation we have here. This is my property line, and this branch is growing onto my neighbor's side, which presents me with the perfect opportunity to air layer myself a new fig tree. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is head to the kitchen and grab a Ziploc bag. Yes, a Ziploc bag will make this process way easier than any of the other methods I've seen online. I'm using a quart size here, and I'm using two because I'm gonna be doing two different air layers on the tree today. I'm filling these bags with 50% potting soil and 50% peat moss that I've mixed together. This will give you really good water retention as your tree starts to grow its new roots. And now we have a dirt bag. Hi. Next, take your dirt bag over to the fruit tree along with a garden hose and a knife. Wait, what? Then cut your dirt what? bag like this. Fold them open, give them a good watering. Now slowly and carefully take a sharp knife you've earlier sterilized with rubbing alcohol and cut a ring around the branch you want to become the tree. Then cut a second ring two to three inches away on the same branch. Then using the knife, make a cut to connect the two rings like this. Carefully peel the bark from the area and using the knife, scrape that bare area to get off what's called the cambium. Cambium? That cambium, it looks nothing like them. That's a thin layer of squishiness between the bark and the tree wood. At this point, I add a step that isn't necessarily needed, but absolutely has gotten me much closer to 100% success rate with air layering. And that's the usage of rooting hormone or rooting powder in this case. Now, while there is a ton of science behind this that I cannot fully- uh, If you need someone to help explain no. it, I can lie go, about that too. <laughs> go away, go away. Fine. Basically, it helps your plants quickly grow roots in this above ground environment. This in the air layer, air layering, there you go. And all you have to do is brush it on and that's it. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna check that out. It's super inexpensive and it helps quite a lot. Next, we take our sliced dirt bag and wrap it around the entire exposed area, making sure that every part of the area is coming into contact with the dirt in the bag. This may take some squishing, a little maneuvering, but that's the way to get it done. Now we need to completely wrap the dirt bag to keep it in place so that it doesn't move at all. Some people use plastic wrap for this, but I'm actually gonna be using clear packing tape. Both plastic wrap and the packing tape will allow us to see inside without having to open up the package completely and disturb those roots. Then while I'm sure this doesn't come as a shock to any of you, roots don't like sunlight. So we're going to wrap the entire thing in a layer or two of aluminum foil to block out that light. Next up for me is the hardest part of this process at all. Take out your phone, set yourself a two month reminder, and then don't touch it. 
Don't open it, don't move it, don't shift it. Because what's happening right now is that inside the dirt bag, these little tiny roots are starting to grow. And they need that two month window to get longer and stronger so that you can move this thing without any problem. But if you move it now, you're running a really high risk of ripping those roots and then having to wait for them to grow all over again. I did this in the end of July, so I'm giving it to the end of September before I even remove the tin foil to take a look at how the roots are doing. But I very well might give this until the tree goes dormant for the winter, cut it off then, pot it up, and have it ready for next season. Then next season you have that tree to either plant in your own garden, to sell, or to trade for other fruit trees where you can redo this process and grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. I love it. Now, if you're still here, I have something very important to bring up. You've reached the end of the video. Wait, don't go anywhere. If you liked this, found it educational, or found it entertaining, click that like button, click that subscribe button, become part of the crew. We'd love to have you with us. Uh, this will also let you know every time I post something new, and while we're at it, why don't you check one of these out? Other than that, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Hope to see you again soon. Be well.